Okay, so then we had best segment in history. Which was the worst segment in history. Get this match. Relic, Abyss, Black Rain, and the Shark Boy in a neck brace. What? <laughs> it was like they had three guys. They said, no, we need a fourth. Who is closest to where I am standing right this second? You and the fish head. Come here. <laughs> so. Yes, Shark Boy in the, okay. The match begins. Well, let's first off, what do we have in the ring? All right, there were four dudes standing around in a circle. In the center of the circle, in the center of the ring, was a Christmas tree composed entirely of barbed wire and some chains in there and stuff. And uh, the Christmas tree, it wasn't just standing like any tree stand. It was suspended from the ceiling. Yes. It was hanging from a rope, just, just barely touching the mat. And surrounded this barbed wire Christmas tree... Or packages. Gifts. Sure. It was the holiday season, after all. Now, <laughs> Brian skipped to the entrance, so it was not until the very end I, I knew what this was. I thought this was just a barbed wire Christmas tree match. No. 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 There were gifts that are open. There were gifts that are open. And between the barbed wire Christmas tree and the gifts, this was the Silent Night Bloody Night match. Yes. Now, the highlight of this match, there were a couple of highlights. Both involving the tree, actually. Yeah, actually, but even, bef- but even before you get there. I don't know. The first one doesn't fall. Go do the first one. With the tree? With Shark Boy? <laughs> which one are you talking about? The They being the heels, which was, as we, we must explain, <laughs> Relic and Black Rain. They took poor Shark Boy, the X Division guy, the comedy geek, the dude in the neck brace. They took him to the corner, and they double teed in these two giant men, and they whipped him into the barbed wire Christmas tree. He fell down. This was such a violent, cruel, vicious attack that Shark Boy took a bump. <laughs> the Christmas tree went flying through the air. Swinging back and forth. He bounced. He bounced off the barbed wire Christmas tree. Yes. Now, Brian, there's two of us in this room. <laughs> One of us has actually had a barbed wire incident in his life. Didn't you once ride a... Or, I did, actually. You, you rode a, as a young boy, you once rode a barbed... I'll rode a tell bicycle. this story. Tell the story. I was on a hill. On a bike. On a, well, no, I was just on the hill. And my friend had a 10-speed. And he was like, you want to try riding my 10-speed? I was like, sure. I had like a Huffy, one of those little bikes, you know what I mean? Absolutely. A little dirt bike. So I had never been on a 10-speed before or a fancy-ass bike like this. So I thought that when you get on a 10-speed and you start riding, you put on the brakes the same way you put the brakes on on a Huffy. You push uh, you backwards, pedal backwards on the pedal. Sure. That stops it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you were to learn. Oh, no, I was incorrect. The brake on a 10-speed is on the handle. I did not know that. I gained speed as I went down this hill, as we learned in physics class. E equals MC squared. I sped up and sped up and sped up. And at the bottom of the hill was a barbed wire fence. There was nothing I could do to stop. I was pedaling frantically in reverse to no avail. I thought that my friend had just chipped the chain off and attempted to kill me. And I fucking ran into the barbed wire fence with great fury. And I'll never forget that, actually. Now, did you bounce? Oh, no. Did the barbed wire go flying? No. Did it puncture you? I thought that I may have been cut in about six pieces, actually, <laughs> and put back together in a hospital. Yes. We, we can laugh about this because you survived. I did survive. It sounds like it sucked. It did suck. Shark Boy was okay, though. <laughs> he was. Shark Boy bounced off the tree. This was where I started to giggle. <laughs> then it got better with Relic. It got better, yes. I, I didn't giggle, by the way. The, the match opened. Abyss and Black Rain started to brawl around ringside. Shark Boy and Relic stared at each other for a while and then began to slowly unwrap presents. <laughs> like a child on Christmas morn trying to build anticipation. So that didn't make me giggle. But when Shark Boy bounced off the barbed wire Christmas tree, <laughs> that was comedy. Okay, so the match continued. They were uh, trying to pin Shark Boy after he bounced off the Are tree. Are we getting to the relic part where he gets thrown into the tree? No, that's that's that is coming up here soon. Relic got whipped towards a tree, <laughs> and he just stopped running. Okay, I, I'm not sure where that was. <laughs> there was so much stupidity here, I couldn't write it all he down. He just stopped running. He put on the brakes, to he said. Yeah. He's like, shit, a barbed wire tree. I'll just stop <laughs> running. I'll stop running. I'm no not one's sure. ever thought of that in history of wrestling I'm before. I'm not sure where that fit into the timeline here. There was a lot going on. So, Relic and, 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 and Black Rain, they had a Shark Boy at their mercy. One of them went for a pin, and the other pulled him off. 
<laughs> because every partner in every Magic TNA must fight. And here's the question. Here's the question, okay? There were two men teaming up to beat on one man. They were working together to be victorious. However, the one man could not allow his partner to get the pin here in a match with nothing on the line. Right. So he, he cannot accept defeat here in the silent night, bloody night except match. Except defeat? It was his partner. What is a tag team match? I, th- I don't know. <laughs> no. Way. Now that I think about it, I have no earthly idea. Does this mean Abyss and Sharp Boy were a tag team? It may have been a four-way. We don't know. And apparently this win was very important to Black Ring. <laughs> sure, either way. He needed AW on his win-loss record. Okay, so... Okay. Wait, there is more. There is more. So Abyss walks over to the packages. He uh, selects one random, I guess, or maybe. Did we get the one where the the Christmas tree got thrown? That's in coming. That, that that's okay. coming. That is coming. There is more. So Abyss walks over to the packages. He picks one at random, or perhaps there was a tag that said "To Abyss from Santa." <laughs> to Chris. To Chris. <laughs> to Chris from Santa. <laughs> so he unwraps it, and he takes it out. It's a baseball bat. Wrapped with barbed wire. He says, cool! And he turns around to use it. Now, the problem with this is, from underneath, he pulled this package out from underneath a tree composed entirely (laughs) of barbed wire. If you're going to hit someone, you would not hit them with a bat. You would hit them with the tree, I would think. You would think. I would think this has many more sharp points. Now, granted, perhaps he watched Shark Boy bounce off it and think, hey, that wouldn't hurt at all. <laughs> perhaps he's capable of that higher thought. But I'm just saying, if you told me I could hit someone with a bat with barbed wire on it, or a tree that was, in fact, barbed wire, I'd go with the tree. So, seconds later, he got taxed. <laughs> he was not satisfied with the tree or the bat. He got taxed. And that, Brian, that right there is when I wrote down, this is the lowest point in Impact history. <laughs> And then glass. And then there was so much more. And when the more happened, that's when I lost all control. This is where I began to laugh uncontrollably. I was so so overwhelmed with bullshit after bullshit after a wave of fucking bullshit. And I could take no more. And I could just revel in it. This made me jolly. So, yes. Abyss got tax. Abyss got glass. Let's see. Did anyone end up going... The tree! Okay, then, yes. So then there was the greatest spot I've ever seen all time, all my life. Okay, so the tree's hanging, right? The tree's hanging in the ring. So Abyss and Shark Boy, who are now working together, they take Black Rain and whip him from one corner to the other. The tree's in the ring, though. This forces Black Rain to run in a circle. He must circ- he must circumnavigate the tree. He must run in a loop over to the other corner. <laughs> <laughs> they then take, they take, they take Relic, they whip him in, and apparently he was just following his buddy Black Rain's footsteps, because he also went around the tree, then he went into the corner. All right, so now, let me, let me reset the stage, because I'm sure you're all having trouble visualizing this. So Black Rain is in the corner, Relic is in front of him, also in the corner, the tree is hanging, <laughs> the tree. hanging in the center of the ring. And Abyss and Shark Boy are, are, are on the other side. They then grab the tree, which is hanging. That's important. They pull it back to the opposite corner as far as it will go. So now it's hanging off the mat, and it's got some tension in it. Like a, you know, like a pendulum. They then release it, and it slowly swoops forward. <laughs> it arcs down. A lot, there's a lot of air in this Christmas tree. <laughs> there's a lot of air. It, it kind of lightly bumps off the mat. It keeps swinging. Relic, <laughs> Relic has time to avoid, and he runs for his life from the Tree of Doom. Now, you will recall that when Shark Boy was thrown into this tree, he bounced. <laughs> now, Black Rain did not bounce. The, or, or should I say, the tree did not bounce off Black Rain. Why? <laughs> because he opened his arms wide and he gave the tree a great bear hug. He, did. he clutched the tree <laughs> close to his chest and nuzzled it to ensure that it stuck him. I can't believe there was a tree made of barbed wire in this match. <laughs> and they had to fake poke it. <laughs> so, okay, so this year, so here's. A- so here's Black 
stuck on me. He's in the corner, stuck with a tree. He's holding on to the tree to mimic being stuck with it. Out comes Jim Mitchell. He did. Jim Mitchell came out. He was wearing a purple suit like the Joker. <laughs> this did not help my composure. And he is looking at this. He's looking at this match with an expression in the streets. What is going on here? Like he was confounded by this, by these events. Okay. From here, I'm fuzzy. I admit. The lights go out. Mitchell got on the apron. I, I think there was a pin here that Mitchell distracted the ref from. Mitchell gets in the apron. The lights go out, and there was Judas Macias. Okay. Yeah, I, I, all I know, there, there's a few minutes of action here. I was laughing I will too tell hard. you what happened. You tell me what happened. The lights went out. Judas Macias appeared in the ring. He dropped Abyss into the thumbtacks. No one cared, like we've never seen that one before. And then in the background, you see Relic pin Shark Boy with a jackhammer. He won! <laughs> he pinned Shark Boy with a jackhammer. Yes. I was aware in that he won. In the middle of the mat. Was there a... was no tree involved. There was no barbed wire ma- uh, bat involved. There was no uh, tax or glass involved. He gave him a suplex and pinned him. <laughs> he pinned him with a wrestling hold. Oh, God. Yes, and this, by the way, they killed Relic's gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing of TNA I always enjoyed, no, he won a match. <laughs> he won a match. This was so horrible. <laughs> this was worse than anything in the history of Nitro. <laughs> this is worse than anything in the history of Thunder. This sucked. <laughs> This was a bad one. Oh, God. Again, maybe it's just that as a Canadian who has always had health insurance, this doesn't seem, Max, smart enough, to this, be a big this deal. This is going to go to the best of right here, Lance. Yeah. You're being corralled away by uh, by this dog. By a dog trying to eat my wife's uh, boots. Oh, man. Oh, they said they must be tasty. Yeah, if my wife gets home and her good leather boots are chewed up, I'm dead. You'll be chewed up next. Yeah, I'll be living outside with the dog. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.